Hello, all my bells, and welcome back, y'all. I'm not really in the thing because I'm in my pajamas. But I'm about to make some sweet, sticky shrimp. Y'all want me to do a little more cooking for y'all, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to make the sauce first, and I need... Uh, the recipe called for some guava jelly. They didn't have guava, so I'm using apricot. And I'm going to use one-fourth cup of apricot jelly. One-fourth cup. We're going to put that in there. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's, it called for guava, but we're going to use apricot. It's called sweet, sticky shrimp. So we're going to put that in a bowl. Put that there. Close that on up. Then you need um, some ketchup. I'm going to do one eighth of a cup of ketchup. We don't know how this is going to taste, y'all. But we're going to taste it. Hopefully it's good. It sounded good. It sounded really good. Hopefully it's as good as it sounds. And then you need some garlic. Garlic. It says um, three cloves, four cloves. But we ain't got no cloves. We, we got it already chopped up. So that's one clove. I will say that's like four cloves. We just use all that. That's, that's four cloves of garlic right there. That's what we're going to use. And you need a um, teaspoon, two teaspoons of cumin. Cumin. You need two teaspoons. Let's open this up. Yeah, I probably say, lady, you should have had all that open from the get-go. So that's one. And two. I'll close it later. And you need a teaspoon of onion powder. Onion powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. Y'all see that? You need a teaspoon of soy sauce. Is it open in here? I don't know if it's open or not, y'all. I just bought this from the store. I don't buy soy sauce like that. But no, it ain't open. So you need a teaspoon of soy sauce. And this is just the sauce for the shrimp. One teaspoon of soy sauce. And you can use low sodium if that's what you choose to do. I should have used that first because you need a teaspoon of cornstarch as well. And I just wet it with... Um, I'm just letting y'all all in my house. Y'all, I'm in my pajamas, everything, y'all. Y'all probably say, lady, we wouldn't have knew that if you didn't tell us. So you need a teaspoon of cornstarch. Cornstarch. You need a teaspoon of it. One teaspoon. And you need a teaspoon of black pepper. Yes, you do. Uh-oh. One teaspoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of brown sugar. It said dark brown sugar, but we using light brown because that's what I got. And uh, the store ain't got no sugar. So we got to use what I have. So one teaspoon, I mean tablespoon, one tablespoon, tablespoon of brown sugar. And you need the juice of two L limes. Let's see if my limes juice is, if the juice is shut popping. I wash these, um, these limes off with soap. This little girl got her TV on super duper loud. You could have took that trash out. This trash is sitting right here. I wasn't paying no attention. I'm recording a video. Two, um, ju the juice of two limes you need.
Y'all, I'm sitting in the house. I ain't got nothing to do. So now I'm trying to figure out what can I do with myself. So, uh, I was trying to figure out, find some recipes that I could do with shrimp because I love shrimp. So I'm like, what can I do that has shrimp in it? And I went online and I found a recipe that sounded quite nice to me. So what you're going to do is whisk this up. You're going to whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Let's see how that looks. Let me show y'all. I'm going to whisk this up. And then you set it aside and you go and you cook your shrimp and some butter. Oh, you guys know what? I forgot the salt. Salt. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. And it says to taste. I don't want to put a lot because we already put soy sauce in there. So I'm going to put about that much. And then the shrimp is salty. I'm going to put about that much salt. But, uh, that probably was less than a teaspoon. It said kosher salt. And then we're going to stir that whisk it. Whisk it till you can't whisk anymore. Whisk it. Let's taste it. Let's try it. Okay. That might be good. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to come back when I'm getting ready to cook my shrimp. I will be back. Okay, you guys. I have my butter. Well, this ain't butter. This is margarine. But I have it in my skillet. And I have my shrimp already. Um, peeled and deveined. Um, this is probably about a pound of shrimp. So I have it ready. Peeled and deveined already for your alls. It didn't call for this much butter. It said two teaspoons. And I didn't put a whole bunch. I'm just silly. I'm just silly, y'all. Mm. So we got to let that uh, heat up. And we will come back when it's done. You guys, I have cooked a batch of this shrimp already. This is the second batch because it wouldn't all fit in this pan together. I'm going to salt it up a little bit. A little bit of salt. Hopefully my smoke alarm don't come on because it came on. Hopefully it does not come on. Add some pepper. Season to your taste. To yours. Come back to you guys and once these shrimp are done and I will show you guys the finishing touches of it and then we're gonna whisk this in there whisk it whisk it whisk it get all that goodness off the bottom that's under there then we're gonna put the shrimp back in here we're gonna cover it and let it cook So I am going to add my shrimp. It ain't like super duper bubbling, but it's bubbling enough to add my shrimp back in. Add those baby back, them puppies back in there. And we're going to cover this and let it cook. Okay. And I will be back in a smidge. y'all 
Okay, you guys, this is the actual finished product. I'm gonna just put it in this bowl. It tells you to eat it with rice, but I'm not gonna do rice. I will take a picture of the plate that I'm actually going to have, what I'm gonna have with it, but it's not gonna be rice because I'm, I'm y'all know I'm trying to stay away from, I don't really eat rice like that anyway, but I'm trying to stay away from all of that unnecessary things. Then we got us some cilantro. That's enough. And some green onions. Voila. Y'all feel like Chef Boy RD over here. I ain't got nowhere to put nothing because my kitchen, I told y'all, is little as ever. So this is our finished plate. Y'all see that? Shrimp a la fresco. No, I'm just playing. You guys, this is called Sticky. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the name up there, but it's Sticky Something Shrimp. Some type of sticky shrimp. But... Um, I don't find anything sticky about it, but I tried one and it was bomb. So this is it, you guys. I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys when I'm eating this.